<laughs> Hi, this is Kathy's Corner at Seed in the Sand, and welcome to my channel. And this is chapter one of <coughs> puppies and boundaries. And what else, Phil? <laughs> oh, puppies. And human boundaries. <laughs> puppies. Puppies, 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 puppies. Oh, boy. Um, just so much work. And yeah, you, you can put it on. So he's kind of watching the, the puppy for me while, uh, while I do this video. But yeah, um, I'm exhausted. I'm a new puppy owner. It's been a little week, over a week since we had her. And, um, it's, it's a lot of work, a lot of work, um, teaching her what to put in her mouth, what to, not to chew, what not to swallow, or you're constantly watching her from room to room, um, you know, you have a kennel, but you can't keep them in their kennel when they're puppies like that all the time, because they need the exercise, they need the exploration, they need the entertainment of, um, exp exploring and uh, learning and growing and de deciding what's right and what's wrong and when to bite and what not to bite. And, whew, it's a lot of work. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of confident. I'm, I'm kind of the disciplinarian of the two of us between Phil and I. And <clears throat> I feel like I'm the bad guy all the time saying, oh, nope, don't touch that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. And, you know, you want to replace that with, yes, you can chew on this. Yes, you can chew on that. Yes, you can eat this. No, you can't eat that. Um, but, yeah, I feel like I'm, like, the bad guy all the time where I'm constantly telling her she can't do things. And um, it makes me feel as if I'm, like, the bad mom, the one that she doesn't like. And then Phil gets all the hugs and kisses and, and all the... the um, the joy of being a puppy owner and I don't feel like that's very fair but it is what it is and um, I get up with her at night and uh, take her out I mean he does a good job too he he takes her out during the day um, and takes her for walks and things like that and um, but yeah it's it's just amazingly amount of high energy um, and can't can't seem to get her to stop exploring with her mouth and um, she's just learning and learning and learning and learning and um, I love it you know I love being that um, yes no yes you can have this no you can't have that um, I, I do like that um, and you know, I hope I'm not overfeeding her because I kind of give her treats and it's a little kibble dog food. Um, after every walk, uh, we do a little training session. And, um, you know, during the walk, she does pretty good. Um, I don't really bring the kibble out with me on the walk, so I probably should um, be teaching her healing and things like that. But I just feel like she's too little. Um, right now, she'll learn that with obedience classes when we start that um, in the next couple of weeks. So, um, yeah. And um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I can say about puppies and boundaries. Um, I'm trying to keep her calm, trying to keep her where she's listening to me and paying attention to me and... Um, focusing on me um, but boy oh boy there's just there's just so much out there for her to be learning and exploring and and um, and she's uh, yeah sometimes she's not very good she's pretty darn naughty so all right uh, the bottom of the card is the six of water six of cups which says memories from ch your history or childhood Losses, you know, issues re regarding children, remaining romant romanticizing the past. Um, so, 
you know, like going back to childhood, me, I've had puppies before. Um, I didn't train them as well as I could have probably, but they did turn out to be good dogs. Um, and the um, card that we that popped out on me is the strength card. And that says Archangel Ariel. And it says, great inner strength, release harsh judgment, forgiveness and compassion. So I guess if any, uh, you know, if anybody's watching this with little kids or puppies or, you know, they just got these puppies home and they're trying to do the right, right thing, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard. We went to the dog store to try to socialize her and they're like, does she have all of her deworming? Does she have all her shots? If she not, she's not allowed in our store. And, you know, I understand that you have to have rules um, about, you know, making sure that they're healthy. But you don't have to, like, take a new homeowner and, like, nah, 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 me, 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 me. You know, that's like somebody that has a baby and they're, they're trying to... to make it on their own and they're trying to go to the store to buy supplies and it's like oh that baby's too small to be out in the cold or you know <clears throat> there's all kinds of different ways of society telling us um who and what we are um and i'm trying to stay focused on who i am as a person and what i'm um, trying to accomplish with raising my little girl. Come here. Here she is. Here's Miss Daisy May. Hi, Miss Daisy May. Oh, she does give good hugs and kisses. And she likes my hair. You like to bite my hair. Ow! Hey. Say hi. Say hi, Daisy. Hi. She's looking out the window at the squirrels. She's not very um, focused on anything in particular other than learning. Here, you want to go up? Okay, be good. All right. So anyway, thank you very much for coming to my channel today and meeting Miss Daisy. Daisy, sit. Daisy, sit. Sit. Uh-uh. There you go. Okay. I'm always afraid she's going to break a leg or something. So, ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's so close to the edge. Ah. You wait. Wait for me. All right. Everybody have a good day.